recently i come across a very useful and important way of finding the goals decluttering our mind that was very useful and instrumental to find our goals which are really matters to us i was reading a book uh, called bullet journal from author rider carol and in that book i found this method sometimes we indulge in many uh, in such a task and many things many goals and we want to achieve many goals and we progress and we progress in every direction and sometimes these directions we are, we moves very slowly or one step in each direction because we are working on many things and end up uh, going nowhere because uh, going in every direction we are distributing our energy or our focus in many things and we ultimately end up not achieving anything so that helped us to focus only on only those things which are essential which are important and which are going to give something good in our life in future as rider mentioned in the book that we have a thousands of thoughts comes in our mind every day sometimes they are related to past sometimes related to future and sometimes unnecessary thoughts about anything so everything is in our mind our goals and everything lost in our mind and it thinks good thing comes in our mind and again lost if we do not write it down so what it says write everything on the paper and when you write on the paper write every small big every goal you want to achieve in your life write down on the paper that is useful to visualize that what we actually want to need to focus on write down everything on paper so he, as per him we can categorize into three different part first is what we are currently working on second what we should be working on and third what we want to work on so these are the three different category we can write the task inside so we will write everything what we are currently working what we should be doing and what we want to do write, write down every small big uh, goal task and things you want to achieve suppose i want to um, create uh, i want to build a four bedroom apartment or house in somewhere or i want to earn that much of money so that uh, that is the first step you're uh, decluttering your mind that putting whatever in in your brain every in our mind put it down on the paper so we can see this thing so we uh, we can do some introspection about it so next question ask yourself why why do we want to achieve this task why do we want to achieve this goal we want to get this why we would like to get this thing done why we are doing what currently doing why should we doing what we want we should be doing and why do we want to do that thing so that way you can ask your question so that way you know that what is important if really matters or not to in to achieve this goal then second if you are not able to properly answer of those question so things comes what will happen if i don't achieve this task and that's where you have to be little bit ruthless have a answer of the question of why we want to achieve it ask the question what will happen if i don't achieve this goal if i don't work on this item what will happen to me or my family how it is going to impact them in the future if i don't work on this if you have answered this question that it is going to impact drastically in a good way and uh, then yeah obviously this um, goal really matters if nothing going to happen no nobody is going to impact it then that goal is kind of not important you can strike it out or you can remove from your task or put it to lower priority lowest priority that way you will end up only in the list you should be doing and what you want to do write it down 
all this question answer on the paper on diary so you can refer them in future when similar questions disturb you you can try to take your focus take your time so you can review them and uh, you have a answer this question are it necessary it is not necessary that uh, right now if you are giving answer of the question it, it, it is uh, fixed probably you may have a good different good answer and in favorable answer in the future you can go over it and decide later whether you want to work on this item or not now we have a clarity that what we want to achieve in future so now we have to set up a timeline and very good way of setting up timeline given by uh, rider is that you can use the formula called 5 4 3 2 1 categorize them into what you want to achieve in 5 year 4 month 3 weeks 2 days in 1 and 1 hours 1 hour doesn't make sense here but at least there's some small task you can achieve in 1 hour you can write it down there in that list so what i did i put uh, i used two spread on my a uh, bullet journal on left side i used my professional goals and right side i used my personal personal goals goals in left side i uh, split it means i split it both spread in four section 5 4 3 2 4 uh, what i want to achieve in 5 years all the goals i listed there all the goals which i uh, want to achieve in 4 months what i achieved in Three weeks and two days, and I put took only one part, one item at a time, and each reviewed in each one, and which I want to achieve first, which is important. So I strike, I just signified them, and last, be consistent. That is important. So every day before our day start, spend. 5 10 minutes on your review and your goals spend 5 10 minutes end of the day what you have achieved in, throughout the day so in the morning when you review you want to check what do you want to do today focus on that and by end of the day just reflect on this did really you achieved what you supposed to achieve that day and what better you can do tomorrow if you haven't achieved or probably what better you can do tomorrow so that way you will remain in focus that what we want to uh, we are working on the goals which really matter to us that is a way of essentialism if you think this use video is useful for someone else just uh, forward them provide your thoughts in comment section and subscribe this channel